Hello everybody, Anthony is here, and this is going to be a time this is my commentary that was originally preparation for this big spaceship I did for the scaling sapphire tutorial, the link is up in the description. Meanwhile, enjoy this time lapse. Alright, so I'm starting with the blob tool, and quickly establishing a plane I want to deal with. And early on I figured out I want to have this bit of pancake design, so I have a top layer and a bottom layer. I have the tendency to have to make everything a bit too much like a square. I have to always fix it later. Not right now. I have like a square, and I will be working around the square. But then I usually look back at that, and I'm like, ah, oh, wait, it looks really like like a square. I should really change the shape. I should, and it it can be even a circle I'm trying to make into into a square or oval or anything or any shape. Here you can see I wanted to change it but I changed it in a funny way. I kind of maintained the square in there. I rescaled it but brought it back to be a squarish piece. And this is a test uh, for the final final design. I've done a few sketches of different shapes. This one was the one I went later on to create a full design. I spent way way more time than here. So in this particular case it was about 30 minutes uh, for, the, for the sketch. I used a sphere tool to just establish uh, engines. So I used that the sphere tool and the line. And I remove, just quickly cut stuff out. The engines are, and I'll try to use a fill tool to integrate it with the body. And I'm doing the holes. It's hiding too much, so then I'm unhiding. And when I'm hiding, I'm also playing with the design. And the the sketch is really low poly, right? So it's around four hundred hundred thousand triangles. So uh, good thing about it, you really want to keep it fairly low for your sketches. The moment you go too high, it will start to slow you down. Uh, the moment you know that you can add more detail, uh, different parts of the model, you can, you can get, it's really easy to get lost and spend, oh, just waste time and keep on wasting time. And I have a little gallery of my failed designs where I essentially did that. I started out with too much of a dense poly count. So I use the pause tool to elongate the engines and just using the sphere tool to add little protrusions of something. And the idea is like not to fiddle too much with one detail, not to think too much about one detail, it's more about iterate, 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 like I'm doing here, I'm doing a really big change to the engine, thinking if I want to oh, change the shape of it, and that angulated shape, angulated shape, which I just had a moment ago, that one is really good at jet fighters or smaller ships, for this big epic stuff, I want to keep everything kind of in particular planes, And uh, sh simple shapes as well. So this is was my idea originally to have a thing kind of plain city flying in space, and then attached to two giant engines that were indicating that it was a speed capable vehicle, speed capable spacecraft. So it could go and jump, do its like twelve parsecs in 60 seconds and uh, fly in hyperspace and uh, have enough, so indicating that it's got enough power to chase, enough power to, but maybe also low, slow burn and do long 
long haul trips as well. Just the size of this whole thing tells you that it can do like you know, it's built to exist independently for long periods of time and probably forever actually. So here I just used the post tool that I realized that I was just I kept doing my thing. I kept doing the square. I realized that there and I used the post to just quickly elongate the body make it longer and change the whole proportions which I made uh, even longer in the final design one thing that I didn't do too much in the final design I didn't have this overlaying structure which I like here in the sketch uh, again in, in uh, in the next design it was I was starting out a bit heavier a bit heavier uh like layer and i wanted to use a bit more stencils as well i thought that would be would bring more interesting details which it did but also having that original pass of unpredictable gribble is actually quite powerful and of course throw in a few antennas i did a whole bunch more in the final shape Again, uh, doing a major design changes while I am uh, sketching. And I say again because I uh, keep saying, do you want to change it? You want to rescale like I did here? Now I made it pretty long. And often when you do that, you destroy a lot of detail, which you've done, just created just before. So I kind of like it right now that we have a lot of detail at the base with the engines and pretty much free space in the middle section or our two thirds of the section and a bit more detailing at the end or at the front, I would say, at the front where all the major antennas are placed. So I'm also trying to maintain the detail spread right now on the sketch. And so I've done that separation, but then I realized that it wasn't looking good. So now I'm throwing just details, a detail, I throw a blob at, at the low res layer, right? So that creates a lot of happy accidents. To introduce a little bit of detail, but much less in the middle body. A few antennas here and there. So here I wanted to introduce ed engines and uh, some kind of en engine design. In this case, I was using the array voxel unhide. So first I'm using the blob tool to create a fill in a space because I have to have a, a high density layer there. And then I'm voxel unhiding. And uh, what I got in with the design, I got this design that looked kind of like an ancient alien ship. So I like that. And I tried to get it in the final design, but in there they went with a different idea. But here it was a valid idea to show to somebody and I, I liked it. 